Hey guys, welcome back to the One Man Show. I am Deman, and I am Deman, and uh, we are Singapore's number one fight podcast. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> We're not going to stop saying that until somebody proves otherwise. Uh, but yeah, we're back. Uh, so sorry that it took us this long <laughs> to get everything set up. Uh, let me let me give you. Uh, a brief uh, on why it took us this long to get ready. So, mm-hmm. firstly, I think after our last episode, who was our last episode with? Was it uh, Chiawi? Yeah, Chiawi, yeah. Yeah, so uh, when we were doing the episode with Chiawi, there was still uh, no circuit breaker or anything like that. We were working from home. The gyms were all still open. As you all know, we record our show from uh, Legends fight sport the gym itself mm-hmm. uh, so after that I think after that it was announced that there was going to be closures for the gyms and all that right uh, I think we we were just waiting it out to see whether uh, things were going to be improving that's why we didn't proceed to push on with doing the podcast digitally because I think the thing with our podcast is that uh it's a lot more cohesive when we bring people in and we actually sit down and talk to them. There's a lot that goes on uh, with our shows in terms of the before and after the podcast itself. You know, we get comfortable with the guests and after that, uh, we do the podcast and then we chat even more after the podcast and stuff like that. So we don't want those elements missing as moving it digitally like we are right now, as you can tell, we don't really have a guest today <laughs> because... <laughs> uh, because we're saying to you, my socket. <laughs> yeah, all we have is read one socket. Uh, basically, we waited for things to clear out. Things did not clear out. And then one of us uh, fell sick. I'm not going to tell you who, but it's not that kind of sick. Uh, none of us have it yet which is quite awesome that we are still living and breathing normally. Uh, it's just that, you know, it's the one-man show is actually a three-man operation and mm-hmm. going on without one of us, it's, it's just not right to do it. Correct. Also, <laughs> we one don't, for all, all for one. Also, we don't know how to do it without that one. <laughs> <laughs> But fret not, we're back. Uh, we got things all set up. A uh, big shout out to one of my friends, uh, Hafiz, who helped us set everything up uh, with Adip and all that. Uh, yeah, so we're back. We are, I think this is the third week of the circuit breaker, right? Was it, this is the third or the fourth week? I have no idea. I think it's the third, seems like the third week. And now it's <laughs> going to be extended another month, I think. Yeah, it seems like forever because, uh, especially for mm. me, Uh, I think I started working from home a month before the circuit breaker was announced. So I've lost track of time. Uh, I don't know how long. Maybe that's the only thing you lost. <laughs> hey, I've lost <laughs> I've lost weight too. Uh, a lot like of what, 200 grams? Yes, 200 grams after going to the toilet. <laughs> So, yeah, pretty much today we're just going to catch up with each other. We haven't, uh, you know, me and Juan are not friends outside the show. <laughs> we, only, we only talk where we need to, which is when we do the show, because it's like work for us. And uh, I'm too busy for his nonsense and all his haters and all that. <laughs> <laughs> How have you been, Juan? Uh, obviously, your gym has been closed down. Mm-hmm. and. Uh, I can see that you have lost weight because you don't have money to buy food now. Uh, yeah. And you are at some shelter with a socket. So tell me, yeah. how, how is it? How's, uh, how, things, how are things ever since the whole circuit breaker thing? What have you been doing? I mean, obviously the gyms has been closed and uh, I've been spending a lot of time online doing a lot of content online on the Legends Fight Sport and my own TCW.Legends Instagram accounts. Doing like boxing training, online live boxing classes, 
technic videos, uh, getting the members involved, sending their videos of what they're doing at home because of this circuit breaker. So it's quite cool to see the other side of them outside of the gym. And they're quite supporting people. So that's nice. And other than that, I'm just keeping myself busy doing stuff. I see train at the car park. <laughs> But there's no cars here. So it's just a park. <laughs> yeah, I, I see it a lot. Uh, so you're doing uh, live boxing classes every day, right? Yeah, I'm doing live boxing classes on weekdays. Uh, 12.30 p.m. on Legends Instagram or Legends Facebook. It depends because I only have one phone. And I can only afford to do one. So there's one week I did on Facebook. One week I did on Instagram. So the so the audience is always arguing which one is better. I should do it on Instagram or Facebook. So the only way to make the both wives happy is have to do it one week here, one week there, one week here, one week there until I die. So, I. Do <laughs> <laughs> you? How are you gonna die when you're already dead, Bodo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's pretty much life for now. How is it, how's the uptake on, uh, you know, people actually viewing and following your training? I see a lot of uh, feedback and I see you posting, uh, reposting a lot of videos of some of the uh, members doing those exercises. I think the videos are not bad actually. I think we got quite a lot of engagement and people are sending me messages saying that they've been sending their videos to their friends and they are following the workout. I mean, I hope the members are doing it. I mean, it's weird to, you know, to be a man watching other men work on Well, life. well, <laughs> so, you, you would know all about that. Yeah, it, it's only right if we train together. So if they're just sitting down watching me sweat, it's going to be weird. This so, is, but this, I think... You think what? I think, uh, I think it's pretty good. Uh. I think the, the reach is pretty good. I think uh, this whole circuit breaker thing has made a lot of people in my neighborhood become very active. I have never seen so many people uh, run around my yeah, neighborhood. It's, like, it's in my a suddenly life. like a standard chartered marathon in the neighborhood. Suddenly like, no, no, no exercising. Everybody decides to exercise. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just <laughs> to be, look, whatever floats your boat. I think everybody, uh, I think not everybody who runs uh, around my neighborhood are actually people who actually want to run but I think everyone's yeah, getting cooked up at home uh, yeah but I don't get it because I I still I still go out once in a while to get my essentials and I just see so many like some of the people running like you you can tell that they've never run before yeah, obviously, some, suddenly everybody starts exercising everybody starts to cook everybody's a master chef now what the heck everybody's a fitness guru and all yeah. the influencers who've never been into the fitness industry wearing the sports bras and what, cycling at home like what the heck but you know they get the views or whatever yeah I mean uh, for me it's it's funny because I was, I've actually wanted to, well, I've, <laughs> this is going to sound stupid, but I've been eating like no one's business for the last few years. So when mm-hmm. I started working from home, I told myself like, hey, okay, this is an opportunity for me to actually like start working out at home uh, mm-hmm. because I don't have to travel. And, uh, you know, when you don't go out to work to the office, one of the things that you don't do is go out to lunch with your colleagues, which, you know, all this happens. Uh, what what happens from that is that you will tend to overeat because you're with good company, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so all the laksa, duck all come out and stuff like that. So I told myself like, okay, this work from home thing, I'm not going, I'm really going on a diet and stuff like that. So I actually like started working out and then I wanted to buy some uh, workout equipments and weights and stuff like that. But everything mm-hmm. is sold out. I don't understand why. <laughs> it's like, everybody's starting a, everybody's having their own under underground gym at home now. Yeah, everybody mm-hmm. like I think there was a post online about Decathlon like being like out of like weight. Yeah. So resistant bands and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Correct. 
like I w- we were just talking right i think the last the last few podcasts that we did i was telling you like hey i'm 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 starting to work from home i'm starting to work out you know what are some of the things that i should i need to get you know like oh get resistant bands and stuff like that and then it's like mm-hmm. i went to the catalog it's like totally sell uh sold out and i was like why and and the funny thing is like the funny thing is like it's not just the beginner weights that are sold out it's all the heavy weights and everything are sold out it's like we really have like a lot of strong people to carry all those weights or are people just like buying it in bulk I don't understand I think probably just buy it in bulk and feel important uh. yeah, feel but, like they worked out <laughs> like, the only like, workout is that they carry the weight to their car <laughs> No, no dude. That's, that's right. No, that's where you're wrong because Decathlon has like uh delivery service. Delivery. <laughs> so, so we they... encourage Decathlon staff to work out. Yeah, yeah, it's not. But you know what? I think all in all, people starting to work out is a good thing altogether. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think there's a big thing about, uh, you know, I've the good thing about being working from home is that I've I've been listening to a lot of podcasts and one of the things that uh, I've learned is that if you have a strong immune system, uh, the better are your chances to not get uh, COVID-19 or even more to survive it. So I guess people working out and starting to sweat is a good thing for their immune system. It's just that I hope uh, even when this ends people will keep on doing it because I think a lot more people are dying from obesity yep. than, than any other virus there is right now mm-hmm. uh, so yeah I think that's a bit encouraging and stuff like that and I'm also I think it's a good thing that a lot of gyms are going online now like you're not the the only fight gym mm-hmm. uh, or boxing gym that's going on online I mean even I see Leona posting workouts and yeah. inviting people to do workouts and stuff like that, uh, which is good. I mean, some of uh, like you're doing it for free, mm-hmm. which is great. Uh, I know uh, Class Pass is it Class Pass? I think class, so. I'm not sure. Class Pla- Class Pass, which you pay for, will also give you like access to some classes and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. majority of the classes that I see are for free, which is great, right? Mm-hmm. So is there is there I mean for somebody like yourself who is not just a trainer but also a fighter how do you keep in shape man when um, during this kind of like unprecedented situation I mean you yeah I know you do your own I know you do classes but do you do anything mm-hmm. else on top of that I think for me this kind of times are the kind of things that separate you from those who are just saying that they want to be the best. I think this is the time where, like, you uh, have time to yourself. It's like, basically, it's like as if you're going to training camp to, uh, you isolate yourself. I mean, you obviously cannot go out, you cannot eat all the nice food. So you really have to find a way to be motivated by doing just simple stuff like running, shadow boxing, go back to the core stuff, not the fancy stuff. Um, I think if you are a hustler, this is the time that really shows whether you are a real hustler or you're just a poser. So I think this is actually quite a test. I always believe that this COVID-19 situation is a, like, a good, a great level. I mean, those who are rich are just down, back down, probably. And those who, I mean, you cannot use it as an excuse. So those who got money or no money, you're now the same. Those who've got new uh, five business, businesses or one business, you're now almost the same. So everybody's back in level ground and then I think those who get through this time is going to be like be the the strong ones after this situation is over. So so you take it as if this is like a big I mean <clears throat> it's like a big reset button. Yeah, this is like this will weed out all those uh, posers, losers and all those who just like doing it for 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 the name. So so I mean on top of all this CV stuff we are also in Ramadan right now. Which is oh yeah, well you never fast what? <laughs> Not bad for someone who doesn't fast and no keep track. Oh yeah 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 okay. <clears throat> Wait until you see the trailer for this episode and then uh, <laughs> we 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 will we will think otherwise. Uh, usually, if 
I mean, without all this CV things, right? How mm. how do you keep on training during Ramadan? Actually, there's nothing different. It's all the same. Right in the mornings, if I have to train afternoon, I will. If I have to train before I breakfast, I will. And I will work. Actually, nothing changes. It's just it's just passing month. So Not nothing changes. Not the steam, changes. man, bro. The steam, bro. That be it's life. Huh? Such is life. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this is so poetic because you are literally at a corner <laughs> yep seek it out uh. seek it out you just have to do it uh. so it's just part of life uh. no but but seriously like you don't change the intensity of your workout or anything like that like it's still no, the same it's, yeah it's the same it's no change no difference yeah you see I don't think I can do that I don't think a lot of people can do that I think they can, but they just don't want to because it's always easy to be comfortable. I mean, you always want to listen to the person who says, you know, uh, it's okay lah, yesterday you train hard, you just rest today, uh, you need rest. But later you overwork, but to be overworked first, you need to work. <coughs> <laughs> you don't just work one day, then you feel okay lah, later I cannot change more, I must rest, later I overwork. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> So I mean, so, you've been you've been in select competitively. I mean, you should know. Yeah, I can't remember how we train during Ramadan, but I'm pretty sure we still did train every day, though. Uh, For sure. But maybe an hour late. We start an hour later so that we can get food in. But yeah, mm-hmm. I don't. I think looking back at uh, those days, I think one of the things that I messed up was not eating right. <laughs> I was just uh, now that I'm actually like uh, invested in losing a lot of weight like I can I can sense I mean I know now that there was a lot of things that I did wrong back then like I was mm-hmm. living I was living off one sushi every day and what's your main motivation to lose weight actually uh, pretty much you must have you must okay. have a reason. Okay, my, my main motivation to lose weight is... Your daughter? Uh, no, not really. I'm fine playing with her. I mean, she gets out of breath the same time as I do. <laughs> I think uh, I have a lot of clothes. I buy a lot of clothes. Uh, and I can't seem to fit a lot of my clothes. And mm-hmm. I think I just want to go back to the weight where I can fit those clothes so that I don't have to give those clothes away. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh. And also... <laughs> and, Selfish and, reason, but it will <laughs> And also, I think, uh, just like how you think, uh, this whole COVID situation, this whole CV situation, like mine started off with uh, work from home, right? Mm. So it's, it's all about... Like, I took it as a reset button also. Uh, there's a lot of bad habits that I have, uh, you know, because when you work in an office, you don't move around that much. Mm-hmm. You don't sweat, like, even once a week and stuff like that. Like, you, you're you always too tired when you get home to work out or do anything else. So I was telling myself, like, okay, let's, let's give it a go. Let's try to work out and see what happens. And, you know, what I found out is that when I work out, I actually have more energy instead of less mm-hmm. energy. Mm-hmm. which is kind of weird, but I think that's how it's supposed to work. And I also started to take care of what I eat. So mm-hmm. basically the only like, uh, oh yeah, that's that's also the other reason why I kind of want to lose weight. I think that I'm starting to fall sick a lot and uh, I'm having a lot of problems like health-wise, which I don't think I would if, I was in a good weight. Uh, so yeah, I stopped eating dinner. Mm. I replaced dinner with a protein shake. And then on top of that, uh, for lunch, the only thing I eat is a uh, chicken breast sandwich. Yeah, I told you already, you're not fasting. No, 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 no. Yeah, man. It's already caught. It's already recorded. <laughs> no, no, now, now, now I only, now no, I only no. eat that for saho budo. Sure. So saho is like 2 p.m. What? Okay, okay. But, but, but what about you? What, what do you eat? Like, okay, for, for fasting man, what do you eat? Are, are there things that you, that you eat 
uh, that is particular to only fasting month or do no. you? No, it's pretty. It's just pretty much the same. Just that one only fasting month. I eat at four forty-five a.m. and seven plus. Oh, four forty-five p.m. A.m. Siang subuh, bro. Yes, bro. <laughs> No, but but okay. Well, what do you eat? Tell me. Okay, how how do you what do you eat to keep yourself hydrated the whole day? I think Just that's drink water, low water, watermelon, fruits, uh, dates, kurma. Then uh, the normal food lah, rice. I don't really cut down much on anything else. Really? Yep. Yep. God, you're so boring to talk to. No wonder we have yeah. guests. On nothing the show. fancy. Instead, nothing instead of, fancy. Like my, my diet. When it comes to your lifestyle, it's a bit boring, now, bro. Mm. Yeah, sure. like, I mean, what what do you expect from a guy sitting beside a socket, right? It's a champion lifestyle, bro. Lifestyle, <laughs> champion lifestyle. People don't understand because not everybody champion. They oh. only hate me. But, but some people claim to be champion when they win nothing. How like that? Yeah, it's normal, lah. Oh, it's yeah. champion. That, that's like how I am the champion of uh, shit talking, is it? Yeah. Apparently, I think we just got a few more haters since the last episode. We got attacked. Some people couldn't take opinions. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, no, it's uh, you know what? It's fasting, man. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, I mean, it is for it is. Like, I mean, it doesn't bother. I, it doesn't bother me. I don't do sleep because of it. I mean, it's just opinions. People say shit about me. People say shit about my fighting style, about my fights. I mean, it's just people have the right to their opinions. They pay. They pay to watch me fight. They pay to criticize. They pay to to say whatever they want to say. You know. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but I think you are also quite mentally strong enough to actually block all that shit. Even though sometimes you say stupid shit. I think it's just <clears> part of growing up. I think some. I think some people, maybe some athletes, will take some a longer time to understand that this is just part of the game. It's nothing malicious or whatever. It's just part of media work. It's just that it's not that people purposely come up with a script to like bring you down. You <laughs> know, it's quite. It's oh really? <laughs> never. Yeah. No, I never. Thought you, I thought. I thought usually I am the one who writes the script for you, Noah. <laughs> you don't. You don't write it. It's already in your head. It comes naturally. <laughs> you are born to do this shit. So I'm, born, shit I'm, bo- I'm born to kind of talk shit but yeah. okay moving on from talking shit because no we don't want to be uh, <clears throat> we don't want to be very sinful during mm. Ramadan mm. actually <clears throat> there's a lot of positives coming out of this also I think a lot of athletes I think the uh, Swaila on the Silat mm. and her mates uh, like doing this thing called burpees for Sang Sayang and you just need to do a video of you doing 10 burpees then they donate like uh, how much $5 They mm. wait. They donate five dollars. Mm, yep, something like that. So I think it's quite good. Then, uh, How much I think money do of, they have? I don't know. Ask a silat people. Listen, don't ask boxing people. You know how boxing oh, oh, wait. people work. Oh This is this is a silat initiative, not not like her own initiative. I think her own initiative with her silat friends. I believe so. so. I think boxing. I think we probably. I don't know. <clears throat> we we're just doing separate stuff. I think we have the Singapore cast. Program something like that. You can buy a care pack for twenty five dollars for people who need it, like sanitizers and stuff like that. Mm, mm, mm. So, I mean, from from an athlete's point, obviously, I mean, everything is stopping for you right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, any idea when you might fight again or anything like that? To be honest, no idea. But we are hopeful that we can maybe. Have sporting events again in maybe November or December, but yeah. it also depends on the other countries, you know, because it doesn't only affect Singapore. And most of our opponents come from Thailand, Indonesia. So if it affects them, then you know, you might have no choice to get Singapore versus Singapore. Yeah, I mean, like uh, what? You what know, you uh, I'm here. Well, I I don't want to be that <laughs> guy, but you know, since you... I am available. <laughs> and you know if, if other fighters cannot get fighters from other countries to fight them so how, why not just fight Singapore fight Singapore yeah. oh. I think, the, I think the, the first promotion to do a show I think that promotion will be doing quite well and people are dying to go out but at the same time the prices must not be too crazy because I think a lot of people are affected financially so they're going to be careful with the spending 
So if the promotions do it right, nice venue, nice cards, nice drama, I think uh, tickets are affordable. I think people will come and watch. Speaking of uh, people getting affected financially, uh, what is your take? Do, I mean, just in general, do fitness trainers, are they eligible eligible for that uh the government money thing, the 9K thing? Are you guys for freelancers? Uh, no, because I'm not of a, I'm not exactly a freelancer. I'm a business owner. So I guess somebody who does personal training from people house to people house, I think they probably can get that. But they probably have to show the necessary documents. Like uh, I know most of them don't. <laughs> so it's going to be a, a bit of a trouble there to, to I think, claim whatever that they can claim. The, I mean, I don't know uh, about other gyms, but I think you are more in touch with other fight gyms out there. But do you see, I think the one of one of the things that I was concerned about when this happened uh, and I talked to you about it was that so I think some gyms don't have, uh, how do I say this? Financially, they're not that secured. Mm-hmm. Have you heard of any gyms that have closed down ever since? Mm, so far, no. To be honest, no. I think the gyms are doing quite well. I think they are adapting, which is good. I think they go online. I think they charge classes online. Even for me, I do personal trainings online. So I charge a smaller fee. So, you know, <laughs> I just sit down next, next uh, in front of my computer or my phone, look at people's shadow box and tell them what to do. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit hard to teach them that way, but I think for now, it, people have to just adapt and learn. If not, not going to progress. I mean, you get out of this situation and you don't change, you don't evolve, you don't get better, I think you're at a loss. I think yeah, even, but... even now, I can mention, even gyms like The Ring, they are doing online classes, like people like Hamza, Jared, Abdul, they're doing quite a good job getting people like involved and... You know, like the sport, even for the members and non-members. Spartans is doing a lot of stuff also. Uh, Arvin, Juggernaut, is, I see they're doing some stuff there. Shafiq, we, we've been wanting to call Shafiq into the show. And uh, we really want to, I think we should get him online soon. Yeah, and, um, Shafiq was supposed to be the next guest after Chia mm-hmm. Wei, but uh, yeah, things happen. It, yeah, so I think a lot of, I think, I think because of this, I think my goal is uh, for my part to make it free so boxing can be the new norm. You know, and after once this is over, you can see people sparring or doing pet work or shadow boxing at the void deck, like they're playing soccer, like it's a new thing. So it won't be something so awkward. So maybe but, boxing will be the new thing. But the problem with shadow boxing uh, underneath the block, there's two things, right? It's either people think that you belong in IMH, where you are right now, <laughs> or people want to try to pick a fight with you. No lah, like, that's why I say if it's a norm, then people will say that it's normal. It's like Cuba, in Cuba, you see people just share the boxing, doing pet work and, and a basketball court next to the street, under the tree, some random tree. It's quite normal. So, <laughs> speaking of speaking speaking of pet work, right? Once mm-hmm. uh, this whole CB is lifted, right? Mm-hmm. Are you allowed to still do pet work? Because that, I don't think there is social distancing. Yeah, I think if it, uh, if it, the, the social distancing rule is still on, I don't think it's it's going to be allowed. So, but the thing, the thing for me is pet work is not the main thing for boxing training. A lot of people, a lot of youngsters feel like they need to do a lot of pet work to feel like they worked out. I mean, uh, this is saying if you want, if you want a lot of pet work, you go get your homeboy to do that. But if you want a real, you want to know strategy, you want to learn technique, skills, get yourself a coach, get yourself a teacher. Because I don't mm. think the greats like years ago, you don't see uh, Roberto Duran, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson doing pad work. They just like a lot of shadow boxing, a lot of back work, a lot of running, a lot of conditioning. I think that's why they, their skills are so, so different. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Yep. okay. Mm. Uh, I, don't, I mean, I to be honest, I'm I'm kind of sick of the the whole CV thing, but uh, I think we we we're, we're all adapting and trying to trying to have fun while doing it. 
you know, people started singing outside their houses yesterday, which was kind of mm. weird until somebody's handphone fell down <laughs> from the twenty floor. Yeah, I mean it was weird, but at the same time nice. But I think the nicer thing is like if you really appreciate the frontline workers, give them a higher pay. You know, I mean, what does singing do? I mean, it's nice, but at the end of the day, it's just like it's just a convenience of saying, okay, I did enough. I sang for them. Well, I I I was. Uh, <laughs> About the about the higher pay thing, I mean it, that that that's an argument that can go on and on, yeah. but uh, I think it's kind of unique that uh, the communities. I I don't know who organizes all these clap hands and all this singing, but I think it's mm-hmm. a it might be a government body that does it. But yeah. I was trying to think. I think it's more to like getting people to like release some stress. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> then then singing is like okay. Uh, eight o'clock. You can like scream out of your window like a mad yeah. person, and no one will think you're mad because. Then do you see the article where I don't know where is it from, but uh, there's a blog in Tampines, of course, of all places, Tampines. <laughs> a bunch of boys singing some gang songs instead of the, <laughs> you see the home song, so Honest- they sing some gang songs at eight pm. Honestly, right now I try not to. Okay. Uh, I have a habit of, I mean, when I was still working in news and I was still working in sports news, uh, I love listening to news radio. I love listening to BBC radio uh, whenever I'm in a car or I'm riding my bike and stuff like that. But after a while, I kind of gave up. And especially now, I don't even look at the news anymore because I don't see any good news. It's Mm. always bad news and it's kind of, depressing to a certain extent so to me it's like uh you know hear no evil and feel no evil so i i tend not to read news or anything like that the only thing that i do is that i check if the numbers were are going up or down because I, I just think that it's funny because i think that i think i think people are betting on it this day <laughs> <laughs> i i mean Singapore pools is closed, right? So I don't know uh, if they have online betting, but yeah, it's kind of cool if people started betting on that and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But, no comment. I will just let you get into hot water on your own for this one. No, I'm, I'm this. not saying that I know. <laughs> I'm just saying that, you know, it's something that uh, people people in the US, uh, they bet on this. They bet on the numbers. Mm-hmm. Actually, there's a lot of controversies. They were saying that the virus is purposely released by certain people, by certain governments, by certain rich individuals. And it comes from this technology from the phone. And uh, we've got some CEO from the phone company which releases the, the technology in Wuhan. So he warned the people that this is going to cause a coronavirus. And I don't know, man, so much conspiracy to this. I, I mean, look... I don't know, I personally don't know anybody that has been affected by this. And I hope I will not know anybody. Or, wait, wait, let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. I hope that nobody I know personally gets uh, affected yeah. by this. But it's, to me, you know, it's all about looking at the bright side of life to a certain extent. Uh it's like what you say. This is a time to reset. So, you know, it's kind of nice to actually figure out what your priorities are in life. Force yourself to spend time with your family and actually, like... You love them. <laughs> fall in love with them again, even though, like, you you thought you don't like them anymore. But then, like, you know, you start to see certain charms in them that you're like, okay, actually, it's not... Damn, it's me. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all it's all about. I don't know. Like, uh, I know certain companies are even like uh, saying that this work from home thing has worked so well for them that they might even let their workers work from home next time around. Yeah, which is kind of cool. I think working from home. Look, they. <sighs> See, it only what, proves that if it's time to go home, you all can just go home, right? 
Yeah, it's <laughs> just proof. And it also proves one. that a lot of work can be done from home. Look, at, at the end of the day, right, if you ask me, would I rather go back, would I rather go to the office, uh, have nice coffee, uh, be away from my family, be focused on my work, have have really good infrastructure, have aircon, mm-hmm. or would I be, would I rather be working at a home uh, shirtless and just wearing my boxes, mm. uh, blasting out music and being as carefree and creative as I can. I think I will choose working from home. Right. All day. I think I think just yeah. like once in a while, like once a week or once every two weeks, you're good to, into the office just to show face and like talk to your colleagues and stuff like that. Yeah, but one but one thing is for sure, you know, uh, working from home. I, I realize that there's actually more work than working from the office. <laughs> Which is so weird. Yeah, but also getting more things done is a lot easier because you're not as distracted, I guess. I don't know. I mean, this is a fight podcast. I don't know why we're talking about work. But then again, yeah. there's still fights going on. But I heard I heard that Dana White is actually going on. The island. With the fight island, apparently yes. he has purchased an island already. Really? Wow. I think that's mort- Mortal Kombat coming to life. That will be I, so- hope he, I hope it's Santosa that he's buying. <laughs> or Tekung. <laughs> I mean, we really have the, the dorms, so might as well. Oh god, that's so weird. Uh, Alright, so... Well, what else is there to talk about? I mean, we... The show the show kind of sucks without a guest. <laughs> I guess we only have... We're going to have only like three people listening to this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Look, whatever it is, I think at the end of the day, we... Uh, we're, we're people persons and we tend to interact better when we are face to face i think i think that's that's what this whole covid thing has shown that uh humans need human interaction true which is kind of weird because like sometimes once in a while it's fine once in a yeah, while sometimes, sometimes you just want to be alone but nowadays you don't want to be alone you want to be with like you tend to want to go out and stuff like that like I don't get it, man. Some like this this evening, I was seeing like a dad with two kids running around the field near my place, and there was lightning and thunder around, and they just like were playing like no one's business. I'm like, ah, I don't get it. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I seriously like this is a very it's a very COVID idiot kind of thing but you know I don't know what their situation is I mean it could be that their home is not that nice or something's happening at home that they just have to go out or like the mom is upset or something like that I mean who knows right Uh, yeah and he's getting struck by lightning (laughs) like okay you don't want to get you don't want to die because of COVID, but you want to go get struck by lightning. We're like, that's fine, but don't bring your kids into it. Like, don't get it. Why? <laughs> like, you're you're going down, you're going down with me, boys. Like, why, <laughs> why bring your kids? I don't get it. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I just hope this ends soon. Uh, and, but I don't think... I'm, I'm a firm believer to, to think that the world will not be the same again after this. I think there will be a lot of changes after this. Uh, in terms of I don't know maybe in terms of how people interact socially I don't think handshakes are ever coming back uh, yeah maybe yeah. I think everybody will I think everybody will start uh, wearing masks even more I think masks uh, is going to be near the new in thing the fashion so I think yeah. we should invest in uh, like nice nice patterns I uh, think leopard skin leather snake skin crocodile skin I think the one man show should make a mask. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I the think, Hannibal, Hannibal mask. I but think the thing is, I, the mask don't 
the mask don't actually prevent the COVID nineteen, right? It's just preventing you from getting fined. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll let you uh I'll I'll let all your I'll let all your haters post on their Instagram on how stupid you sound, and then follow it up by like links to like how uh, certain masks could actually help you and certain masks. Yeah, it's like it's like use that all like ninety nine point kills ninety nine point nine percent. What if COVID is zero point zero one percent? Sometimes, right, I forget that even when you have blonde hair, right, you're still Malay. Stupid <laughs> things that come out from your mouth, you know. Is he getting what? All right, and I think... Peop- yeah, I think we have enough of talking shit. I, yeah, I think we have enough of today's shit. Uh, look, guys, uh, we're This short. session is pretty much just to test out Skype. That's and also, about it. And also for me and what to talk, because we don't usually talk. Uh, and we try to remain to remain friends when we can. Uh, and also, I think Adip misses hearing to our our voices and our nonsense and stuff like that. Look, uh, we've been away for two three weeks. We know we kind of screwed up that one, but uh, mm-hmm. we're back now. And hopefully, we can get guests coming in uh, through. What we're we using right now? Uh, I'm not gonna tell Skype. you what we're using right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, do tell. Uh, yeah, true. Whatever means that we're doing. I hate no, Zoom. Just, stop! 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 Zoom, go people show balls. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hoping that our session somebody comes in and show the balls and dick. I'm like, yeah, boy. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's the kind of thing that one is into these days. As you can see, that he's damn bored. Uh, so yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna start again. We're gonna continue doing what we've been doing, uh, and hopefully, you guys will keep on listening. Uh, like I, I think we we have reached more. I mean, we've we've reached thousands of listeners already right now, which is kind of cool for mm-hmm. us. Uh, I think we we we're, we're growing and growing, and we. We keep on wanting to reinvent the show and and, and be better, but uh, circumstances as it is right now, we are just gonna keep on keeping on. Uh, we're gonna get gas on, uh, and hopefully, when things get back to normal, we will also be business as usual, and we'll have people back on the couch uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah, one, do you wanna just? plug yourself in and tell people where they can find you and your classes and stuff like that right now alright if you want to do some online boxing classes you can go to Legends Fight Sport Instagram page Facebook page do follow me on tcw.legends on Instagram I'll be announcing uh, the boxing classes showing boxing videos boxing technique videos uh, yeah pretty much so keep yourself active do whatever you want to do as long as it's within the law <laughs> don't go eat at the, don't go eat at the worker center because it's Ramadan and also because you're not allowed. So everybody's looking like they're wearing a niqab nowadays. <laughs> so yeah, welcome yeah. to life. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, so called the new norm right now. Uh, before we end off, I just want to again thank all the frontline workers. Uh, Keep on doing what you guys are doing. And uh, if you guys are listening and you guys are fans, uh, we are a fan of you too. And we appreciate what you guys are doing right now. Uh, you guys are and the not, real heroes. You guys yeah, are the real heroes right now. And, and, and you know, especially all the healthcare workers, but on top of that also everybody, you know, the police, the civil defense, every everybody who is keeping everybody else in line. And I think, uh, well, personally from my point of view, what I want to say is that if, if you... Uh, somebody who wants to break rules and stuff like that just think about it this way you're not just putting your don't, don't think about putting yourself at risk because obviously you don't care enough about yourself to want to break rules but think about uh, the people around you because whatever you do might affect the people around you also uh, and on top of that please I hope everybody uses this this time that we have right now. We have a lot of time since you're working from home. We're in partial lockdown and stuff like that to pick up a skill, better yourself, make use of this time, reset, 
you know, find out what your priorities are in life. Uh, that's what, obviously, what I'm trying to do, what I think one is also trying to do, uh, you know, even though he moved into his own house with only one light and a corner <laughs> that he sits on, that's still an upgrade from where he was before this situation. True. So, yeah, uh, remain positive. If if any, there's anybody out there who's listening to this who is struggling internally with, you know depression or you're not mentally doing well and you feel like you want to talk to one of us uh please approach one and not me because uh one can relate because he has hate problems too for me i don't have time <laughs> <laughs> so much empathy and compassion <laughs> it's the new me it's ramadan so yeah uh ramadan mubarak to all my muslim friends and uh Circuit breaker carry on to all my non Muslim friends. <laughs> yep, and for the rest, enjoy your murtaba. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so that's it from us. Do follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and especially Spotify. Spotify, uh, the one man show. Like I said, we've uh, we've we really appreciate the thousands and thousands of uh, listeners that we have on all our social platforms. Uh, you know, from all the fans to all the haters, uh, we don't care. We we don't we don't take things too hard when it comes to the podcast because this is supposed to be a fun podcast, and we yeah we don't really take things personally. And uh, if anybody's offended out there uh, by the things that we say, please look at yourself in the mirror and realize that you're taking yourself too seriously. And if you're an athlete and you get offended, just just think about this. Just think about it this way. Uh, mentally, you're weak. Okay? <laughs> Straight <laughs> to the point. <laughs> because if you're mentally strong, you're not going to get affected by any any of this. So mentally, you're weak. You need to work on it. And uh, if you need help working on it, please get in touch with one. Don't find me. Don't find me. <laughs> because Don't find me. he has no time. a lot of it. No, so no, yeah, no. that's it for the One Man Show. Please, uh, you know, if there's anything that if you want to be on the show, just get in touch with us and stuff like that. Uh, we'll we'll try to get you on the show uh, if you have any anything interesting to say. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. This is the one man show, the number one fight podcast in Singapore, the only fight podcast in Singapore. Uh, yeah, so good night. We're out. Out. So the only way to make the both wives happy is to do one week here, one week there, one week here, one week there, until I die.